what's up y'all welcome back to the channel today is another story time let's get into this story oh my gosh y'all so i had this homegirl let's call her blossom so me and blossom always hung out together literally you couldn't separate us like she was my girl and we consider her to be i consider her as my best friend basically i would always be at her house she would always be at my house right and she used to date this guy. We're going to call him Steve. Right? Blossom and Steve had been dating for a really, really long time. Steve and Blossom knew about my disability, obviously, because we was around each other for a really long time. So they knew me, just like I knew them. One day, we was chilling. This is the first time they ever did something super weird around me. But one day, I was going through it with one of my dudes, and I was venting to Blossom. Steve wasn't in the room. Me and Blossom was in her room. Steve ends up coming into the room while me and her are talking. When Steve walked in the room, me and Blossom never stopped our conversation. We just kept talking. So as me and Blossom talking, y'all, she talking regularly. And out of nowhere, her voice starts to go like, she, like she was like, oh, girl, you need to leave that nigga. Like, leave that nigga. Don't worry about it. Kind of like that episode, not episode, but kind of like that scene off of Baby Boy. Remember when Yvette was on the phone with her homegirl and her homegirl just started, you know, so I'm like, what is y'all doing? Like, it irritated me instantly because, ew, like, what? Once I heard Blossom voice kind of get weird, I was like, what are y'all doing? Like, what? And Blossom was like, Blossom and Steve both said at the same time, nothing. And they started laughing. Mind you, at the time I was like 18, they like 25, 27. You feel me? Like, way older than me. Um, so I'm like, okay, that was weird. <clears throat> Me, Blossom, and Steve decided to go out and have fun. I think it was Blossom's birthday. But we ended up going to lunch. Lunch is like an arcade place. They got drinks. They got bowling. They got jumping. They got so many different games. As soon as me, Steve, and Blossom walked into lunch, Blossom took a shot of Fireball. Boom. I think it was her birthday, to be honest. But Blossom took a shot of um, Fireball, y'all. And she got lit. I was like, ooh, that smells so good. Like, cause if you ever tasted Fireball, the alcohol drink, it tastes just like the candy. And it smells really good too. So I said, ooh, I want a shot too, y'all. I had a shot. Instantly, like, we felt it. Like, we started feeling it. But that was my only shot of that night because I really wanted to, like, enjoy. Like, I didn't want to get messed up. I don't like to get messed up in public. So, boom. It hits, like... 1 30 in the morning and we decide okay let's go eat we're sitting at the table y'all we eating i'm sitting right next to blossom remember it's her birthday i'm sitting right next to her and a photographer comes up and takes a picture of us y'all he hands me the picture well he really just sat it on the table i didn't see that picture till the next day the picture was i wish i could show y'all the picture it was so crazy y'all blossom had her face in her pasta like literally her hair was messed up, everything. She was so lit, so drunk. I, I wasn't taking shots like that because one, them shots was expensive and two, it wasn't my birthday, it was her birthday. I wanted her to turn up. And you know, like when you turn up with somebody and you realize they getting more drunk than you, you kind of want to like, even though I, I don't drive, I still want to be like somewhat not as lit as her. But you know, she gets lit y'all. Like I told you, we at the table, we eating. Her face is in the pasta. I didn't even know until I saw the picture the next day, but her face was literally in the pasta, y'all. And she couldn't even eat. Steve kept saying, sit up so you could eat, sit up so you could eat. Like, it's your birthday, you need to enjoy yourself. This girl was so toe up. At this point, it was going on two in the morning. And, well, no, it was probably like 2.30 already. And Steve was like, all right. Like, we had already been out there for like four or five hours just literally being lit. And Steve was like, all right, we might as well just go ahead and slide to the house because Blossom is lit. They're like, there's no point in us still being here if we lit. I'm holding on to Steve's arm because at this point now, Blossom can't guide me. And we get the check, blah, blah, blah. We head out the door. I'm holding on to Steve's arm. Steve had to pick up Blossom and like put her over his shoulders because she was so drunk. She couldn't even walk had to get on like an elevator and it was these white dudes that passed us and they was like because they saw that it was steve it was me and it was blossom and that and they thought me and blossom was super drunk so the white guys looked at steve and he was like oh y'all y'all gonna have a good time tonight y'all gonna have a good time tonight 
And I'm like, uh, cause what? We all laughed it off in the moment. It was funny, everybody was lit. And so boom, we get to the car. Steve walks me over to the passenger seat. I get in the car and he puts Blossom in the back seat because so she could lay down. And he's talking to her while they back there. And he's like, you are so lit. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you two toe up on your birthday to enjoy the rest of the night. Blossom had on like a mini skirt and a crop top. She was cute. I don't know if she didn't have pennies on or what. I'm sitting in the front seat, y'all, minding my business, scrolling through the phone. I hear something in the back seat, like, <coughs> literally sounds, bro. I'm like, oh my gosh, here we go again. Like, here we go. Like, it's it's just awkward because it's like, why y'all, what the heck? So, I ignore it. And then Steve comes to the front and he gets into the driver's seat. I kid you not. As soon as he gets in that car, I smell nothing but shrimps, lobster, fish, crabs, baby. It was so, that hand was so fishy while he was driving. Every time he would move his hand to like swirl, like drop, turn, the whiff, baby. The whiff just, I was like, it was something about Walmart. We went to Walmart for something, bro. He parks in the Walmart parking lot. And he was like, hold on, Kyrie, we're going to get out in a minute. He was like, I need to check on Blossom real quick. Y'all, he goes in the back seat. I hear her giggling. I thought she was passed out drunk, but when he got back there, she was giggling. Then out of nowhere, I'm hearing. I said, hey, you could take me home. You could say, because I don't know what it is. I don't know why you want to do this around me, but you could take me home. They both start laughing. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You're not even doing nothing. What are you talking about? At this point, I'm irritated and I'm like, I'm not even jokingly irritated. I'm really irritated because I feel disrespected. So I'm like, Blossom, stop playing with me. Like this shit is weird. Like y'all are weird, bro. Y'all are weird. So they still like, oh my gosh, like we're not even doing nothing. You always think we doing something. We're not even doing nothing. I'm not dumb, slow, or retarded. Bookie, I know what S-E-X sounds like. Anywho, we end up squashing the beef. I'm still irritated, but we end up squashing the beef, y'all. We go into Walmart drunk as hell. I jump on the bikes, driving. Ooh, I'm riding bikes, bumping into everything in the store, y'all. They come on the intercom. They like, excuse me, ma'am. Can you get off the bikes? Okay. And I just get off the bike and leave it where it's at. But honestly, I had a blast that night at Walmart. I don't even remember what we got from Walmart, to be completely honest. I cannot tell you what we got from Walmart that night. But we ended up getting into the car, driving back to Blossom's house. Once we got to her house, I jumped in the shower and I ended up throwing on some clothes that I had left over there. So, mind you, I take a long shower. So, whatever they want to do, they could have did while I was in the shower. You feel me? Once I get out of the shower and I walk in the room, she had a California King. So, I'm at the end of the bed, at the top of the bed. I'm scrolling on my phone, girl. I'm always in my phone. I'm talking to Blossom about something. I can't remember what I was talking to her about. But the same thing happened again. Her voice started to lie. Like, she was getting penetrated. I called one of my friends. I got up. I ain't even say nothing this time. Put my shoes on. Blossom was like, where are you going? Where are you going? I'm like, Blossom, I don't have time for this. Y'all are weird. They both do the same thing again. What are you talking about? This time, they didn't even stop doing what they was doing. They still, they still talking while they doing What are you talking about? Like, you still hear the sounds. You still hear the money. She's like, what are you talking about? And he's laughing. And any time after that, I didn't even want to be around them. Like, I would only be around Blossom. I didn't want to be around both of them after that because it was just ill. Like, what do y'all think? Like, do y'all think they had a little fetish for people being around? I can't even say people watching because they knew I wouldn't be able to see exactly what they was doing. So it's like, did they have like a fetish or something? Did they like get off on the fact that I couldn't see what they was doing, but I was there? That's weird. I don't know, y'all. But, um, yeah, that was that. 
that seemed like a short story time but girl ugh, it's it was kind of hard to tell too because it was disgusting like that was a disgusting story time but anywho i hope y'all enjoyed this story time i will catch y'all in my next one thank you guys so much for your support i love every single one of y'all